Hello everybody, welcome back to Golden Dragon Games, I'm your host Rocky2815, please just call me Rocky. Today is my top 9 Nintendo predictions for E3 2016. Okay, on with the countdown. Okay, coming at number 9 on our list is a new evolution to be revealed for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon at E3 2016. So... What type do I predict this new evolution will be? I'm not sure, but the ones that we know they can't do is normal type, which is, you know, the base type for Eevee itself, and for the evolutions, the types they have already covered are water, electric, fire, psychic, dark, grass, ice, and fairy. So that's... We count the normal as well, so that's... Five, six, seven, eight, nine types of Pokemon already covered. So they got a couple of more types they can cover for evolutions. What type? I am not sure, really. They could do dragon, they could do steel, they could do ghost, they could do flying. Is there any other type of Pokemon they could do that I'm forgetting? I don't think so, but I guess we'll just have to wait and find out, and if they do decide to reveal a new evolution, I hope that it is very cool and fits in with the tropical theme of the Yalola region for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Okay, on to number 8. Coming in at number 8 on our list is the name slash title for the new Legend of Zelda game for Wii U slash Nintendo NX. So, with the new Zelda Wii U game, you know, we didn't get much information and recently we heard news that, of course, it's delayed till next year, and also it's coming out on the NX as well as the Wii U. But one of the things we have not got is its proper name. At the moment, people are just calling it, you know, Zelda Wii U, but all games apart from the original Ze Legend of Zelda game have like a little subtitle under them, like, you know, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Link's Awakening, Minish. Cap, Wind Waker, etc, etc. So, I'm hoping that they will reveal the actual name for Zelda Wii U. I guess we're just going to have to wait and find out. But So, on to number 7. Okay, coming at number 7 on our list is the evolutions for the start of Pokemon for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. So, we've already got their base forms, but we do not know what their evolutions will look like. But I'm hoping at E3 2016, Nintendo slash Game Freak will reveal photos of the evolutions for the starter Pokemon. Because, I really don't know which starter Pokemon I want to pick when I get either Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon. I haven't even decided which game I'm going to get yet, and it only comes out in November, which is not actually that long away. So, I'm trying to decide, but I can't pick... Like, I love all three of the new style Pokemon, you know. I really like Rowlet, I like Litten, and I like Poplio. I don't know which one to pick, so I'm hoping that they will reveal the second and third stage evolutions of the starter Pokemon, so I'm able to finally decide which starter Pokemon I'm going to pick for Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon. But I guess we're just going to have to wait and find out. So on to number 6. Okay, coming at number 6 is Mega Evolutions for the Sun and Moon starter Pokemon. Now, I already said I wanted their second and first stage evolutions to be revealed, but I also hope that Mega Evolutions for all three of the Aloha starters will be revealed, as well as the 
second and third stage evolutions. Now it's on to number five. Okay, coming at number five on the list is more info on the story of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Now we already know a bit about the legendary Pokemon and their backstory. You can read a bit about their backstory in their bio on the official Pokemon Sun and Moon website. If I remember, I'll link the official Pokemon Sun and Moon website in the description so you can go and check out the bios of the legendaries for yourselves. But yes, I hope more about the story is revealed because all we know at the moment is that our trainer moves to the Aloha region and, you know, starts his journey and that the Aloha region is made up of four different islands. That's all we know about the story. So I hope more information is revealed about the story and maybe, just maybe, the evil team or evil teams of Pokemon Sun and Moon will be revealed as well. I really do hope so because I really like to know because like Zelda Wii U we still don't know much about Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon so yeah. On to number, what was it? I have to check the list on my iPod. Uh, on to number four now. Coming at number four on the list is a new Zelda game for the 3DS to hold us over until Zelda Wii U comes out because of course it was meant to be coming out in 2015 then they changed the date till 2016 now it's not coming out this year now it's coming out in 2017 as well as it's going to come out on the NX as well as the Wii U now so I think that Nintendo will release a new handheld Zelda game to tie fans over until Zelda Wii U comes out because Legend of Zelda Wind Waker that was supposed to tie us over until Zelda Wii U came out and then we also had A Link Between Worlds, we've also had Triforce Heroes, we've also had Twilight Princess HD so that is why I think that there will be a new Zelda game for the 3DS. I'm not sure whether it will be a remake or it, will it be a completely new title like Link Between Worlds was. I'm not really sure but I guess we're just gonna have to wait and find out. Now on to number three. Okay coming at number three on the list is New Pokemon for the Aloha region will be revealed for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon at E3. Now, the Pokemon that have already been revealed, as we already know, are the two legendaries being Solar Galileo, also Lunala, we've also got the three star Pokemon being Rowlet, Litten, Poplio, we've also got the two that have just leaked in this month's Korra Korra magazine being Koala Bear Pokemon and also the dog Pokemon, the dog being a rock type and then the Koala being a normal type. I can't actually remember the names of them unfortunately. If I remember them I'll make the names of them along with pictures of them appear um, you know right next to my head. Well, I mean, if I remember. So yeah, I think more new Pokemon will be revealed. How many more? I think five new Pokemon for the Aloha region will be revealed. Possibly more, possibly less, I'm not sure. One Pokemon for the Aloha region that's definitely going to be revealed is that bird Pokemon we saw. In the special 20th anniversary Pokemon Direct back in February, it showed on a monitor computer screen thing um, a wireframe of a new Pokemon and that Pokemon was a bird. It sort of looked like a woodpecker to me, I'm not sure, but I personally think that Pokemon will definitely be revealed at E3 2016. 
tomorrow. Okay, on to number two. Number two on the list is new information on the story of Zelda Wii U. Now, with Zelda Wii U, we have got hardly any news. We got two, like, 10 second, 15 second, a minute, minute and a half? What? I think the last trailer was about around a minute, I think. I can't remember. But yeah, we've only got two trailers for Zelda Wii U, along with a couple of concept artworks for Zelda Wii U, and that's it. No, you know, name, at the moment it's just been called Zelda Wii U. We have no information on the storyline, apart from it's going to involve the Sheikah, because of the blue Sheikah eye symbol that has appeared on the... Nintendo E3's website and also Link carries this sort of book or tome or stone tablet that also has the Shikai symbol on so I think more will be revealed about that at E3 but anyway on to number one Okay, number one on the list is new Mega Evolutions for Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. I've already mentioned, I think it was number seven on the list, that we'll get Mega Evolutions for starter Pokemon of one of the old generations starter Pokemon that haven't got Megas yet, or the Aloha starters. I hope the Aloha starters will get Megas. But this is more general, as in any Pokemon from, well, Flygon. He didn't get a Mega Evolution in Generation 3 remakes, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, like we all thought he would. But I'm hoping that he will be one of the Pokemon that will get Mega Evolution in Pokemon Sun and Moon, along with Lunatone and Solrock, or what other Pokemon will get Mega Evolutions, but the ones I can definitely 100% certain seeing get Mega Evolutions are Flygon, Solrock, and Lunatone. Okay, that's all I got for our top 9 list. I hope everybody has enjoyed the video. I hope everybody at E3 enjoys E3 2016. Unfortunately, I was not able to go, because I live all the way here in the UK, and I did not have enough money to get tickets to E3 and also pay for a hotel or plane tickets. Anyway, so yeah, and I will be making sure to update everybody on any new news that comes out about Zelda Wii U or Pokemon Sun and Moon over on my Twitter and also my Instagram, also on the Zelda Amino app and the Pokemon Amino app. That's where I will be updating everybody rather than making more and more videos because unfortunately I don't have time to make more videos about E3 during E3 because of course I will be watching the live streams for E3 but also I have other videos that need editing and uploading as well but anyway. Until the next video, remember to leave a like, favourite, share, comment, subscribe. Also, make sure to check out my social media pages. All links will be in the description down below. And until next time, stay gone, stay frosty, and... Bye-bye!